Okay, do you know today's date? I can't even see you, but uh, do you know today's date? September 2nd. September 2nd, 2022. I'm still on my quirky cruise country trip across America. And your name, sir? Joe. Joe is my favorite buddy in the whole wide world. We can't see each other because I have a crappy camera. But let me show you Joe's premises. Look at that. You see the beautiful pool? You see the premises? Now, I'm going to show you Joe's backyard. Here we go. This is Joe's backyard. Is this unbelievable? Is this amazing? Now, Joe, let's see if you remember. We only met maybe 30 minutes ago, right? Yep. What was the very first thing that you said to me when you first saw me? I'm putting it on the spot. This, I swear this was not premeditated. I said, uh, cool hat. No, that's not what you said. You said, you commented on my looks. How did I look? I don't remember. <laughs> this is the result of uh, substantial liquor. Yes. How about confirm or deny? You must be single because... Uh, you're happy. You look happy. Yeah, you must be single. But you look happy. happy. Those yeah. were the first words. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he doesn't remember this, yeah. but I remember this. Yeah. So I had to get this kind gentleman. He invited me up there. Well, this is going to sound wrong. He invited a bunch of us up there. Not just John, not just me, up to his beautiful property. It's got an amazing view. I probably should have did this when we are up there, but I'm not that smart. This is the Myrtle Beach Singles Baby Boomers Club. And uh, we, this is our first event here at my pool. And, it's and the, I'm never leaving. It's the end of summer. And, and I'm never the, leaving. The ratio between men to women is incredible. I'm still wow. single, can't get a date. <laughs> and, <laughs> but uh, this guy's doing all right. Let me Chris, tell you, with this freaking property, are you kidding me? This is a lot of fun. I like people like Chris. You can tell the alcohol is kicking in. You can clearly tell this man is substantially intoxicated. All right. So I won't keep him on, uh, on on tape too long because over there he's got a pool full of women that he invited over. The man is a goddamn genius. Uh, in any event, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Life advice. You told me a story before about a former job. Could you quickly recite that story? Yeah, so in 2007 or 8, my dad was getting you know older in his high 80s. And, uh, you know, like they were saying, I had to take him to the doctor a lot. And they kept saying, you got to take him again, again. And I'm like, that's right, I have to take him again. And basically I said, that's my dad, you know, and I walked out and never went back and uh, probably the best move I ever made. Excellent, excellent, let me shake your hand. Now, let me ask you one final question, then you can go back to all the ladies okay. that you've invited. Again, a genius, genius this man is. What advice would you have for others about life? What life, clearly you're doing it right. I mean, you have an, a dream life, a dream property. What advice would you give to me or to a stranger about life? I would say just realize it's not a popularity contest. Okay, so uh, you have to you have to make yourself happy. Every morning when you wake up, if you're faced with a decision, do what's right for you, and it'll it, it'll be very simple to live your life, and you'll be very happy. Isn't that the guy that he's a poet? He's a poet. All right, so that concludes my video. We're going to go back over there to a pool full of women, and I can't thank this man enough. I'm asking him to adopt me and allow me to move in, but he needs more alcohol even for that. All right, signing off. The quirky All road right. trip across America continues.